Hi guys, so in this video we're going to be putting the very final primer on this bay window camper van. So in the last video we put down the 634. What I did then was block that out with a P240. It highlighted a few low areas, a few pinholes, things like that. Um, so we just went around, did any last little tickling up with filler that needed to be done to sort those out and gave it a real good like harsh block down with a 240 to make sure that everything was 100% as flat as we can possibly get it within the sort of timeline and budget that we've got. Um, timeline wise it's over um, by quite a bit but budget wise obviously we can't go putting weeks and weeks and weeks of extra labour into something so the, it won't be perfectly perfectly flat um, you know there will be the odd wobble here and there um, nothing like it's like major you know it's not like gonna look like it's got a big dent in the side of it it's gonna be like a slight wobble but these things never were flat and they're extremely difficult and extremely labor intensive to get perfectly flat but now all that's done <clears throat> we've remasked some areas of the van and we're just gonna go over it again with the high build so I put a touch of a tint to this high build just to separate it from the color of the previous one uh, we use the 634 uh, Capsi high build and I've just popped a tiny little bit of black into that just to make it a little bit darker grey just so I can separate the difference between the two. Now once this is done um, and we've gone around this van with two full coats so it's mixed four to one with no thinners we're putting two like thick heavy coats on it and then all we're gonna do then is give it a DA over um, ready for the paint stage. Now these two layers should be more than enough to seal everything up. If there was any little bare metal edges or anything like that I've gone around with a tiny bit of epoxy before applying this um, and just covered up any little bare metal edges. Um, again just to make sure that everything's treated and everything's getting overcoated properly. I then left that like half an hour in the booth with the spray cycle running um, and then came in to shoot these two coats. So I'll be doing these two coats back to back because they'll take quite a while to put on. Um, I've included one in the video just because two coats would take too long to show. So the spray gun that I'm actually using is the Devilbus GPG, which will shock some of you because um, a lot of you know I'm not the world's largest fan of Devilbus. Um, but I was looking at primer guns the other day on SP Supplies. Um, I noticed this GPG was on there, 1.8 setup. Um, 170 quid I think plus the VAT and I thought oh, that's a bargain to be fair for a good brand gun um, the GPGs have had one in the past and know they spray well so I thought for 170 quid why not grab one and try one out uh, and I will leave the link in the description as always to the primer the spray gun and everything as well so you guys can see that or well, have a look at that if you need to um, and obviously you can use my discount code on their website as well but it's performed really well actually. Um, I did another job the day after with it and um, with some thin down primer, again, performed really well. I'd say, I wouldn't say it was slow applying here because this is going on really thick and really heavy. I want a good build now so I can just basically DA and hand pad all these edges with a 400. Um, try my best not to break through too much to anything other than the previous primer. Um, and then basically prep it ready for paint now it is already painted and after voicing over this video I've already got the paint video for this edited so I will be editing that this will be going up tonight which is Sunday so I'll probably drop the paint side of it maybe Wednesday um, midweek for you guys as an extra video because I've been a bit behind on getting voiceovers and stuff done I've got loads of stuff that's edited I've just not got around to doing the voiceovers and everything at the minute um, Shop's been busy, been playing catch up, because um, my partner and my eldest were both in hospital for a short amount of time in December, so that left me a little bit behind at work. And then last weekend, um, me and my partner went off to look at a wedding venue, which we've now got sorted, um, ready for the end of 2024, which is a little bit scary and a little bit exciting at the same time. So that's on the plans. So it's been a little bit sort of hit and miss with getting time to edit because it's just the main concentration has just been trying to get caught up at work um, after having time off in December and obviously Christmas and everything but we've got plenty of stuff to video um, I'll be getting the second well the paint stage out on this midweek next week we'll be getting um, 
the next video out on the Caprice next week as well, um, showing you the next stage from epoxy upwards on that. Um, and then we'll start rolling that as a series as well, so there'll be plenty to see on that one. But overall, I hope you guys have all had a good Christmas and a good start to the new year. It's been a bit of a strange start to the new year this time because I've not had a break between Christmas and New Year. We're playing catch up, but such is life when you work for yourself, I guess. Plus, there's been a few things to do around the shop between Christmas and New Year because for some reason the ballasts and the lights and the booth decided half to blow in the very cold weather that we had. So we've had to strip all the lights out and fit all new ballast to them, which is why this video is a little bit dark because this was done just before we fitted the new ballasts and then in the video where we paint this the booze back to normal brightness because we've finally with the Christmas New Year break the ballasts got delivered and we could get them fitted. Now a few of you guys have asked a lot of questions on this um, about why we use like different primers and sealers and stuff like that so if it's going for like bare metal for instance I would start off with epoxy then I'd do any filler work on top of that. Then you could use like a spray filler if you wanted to, um, depending on the kind of job you're doing. Um, or you, if it's quite flat, then you can use a high build over the top. And then once you've sanded down that high build, you do have the option. You could use a wet on wet if you wanted to. Or if you needed to, say it was an awkward colour and you wanted to get a bit of extra coverage by using, say, a black wet on wet that will cover prep marks and also give you a complete sealed surface in a single colour. Now something like this, I don't really need it, as long as I've got a good sound surface of primer there that's been sanded, I can easily go straight over this because it's 2k gloss and it will cover like mad. Um, it'll be the Capsi 2k gloss that we're using for this and it's going in a colour called Mango Green which is paint code L346 off the top of my head, but you'll see that in the next video. <coughs> now. On this one, um, that said, we just went two coats for this final bit. Um, it gives us plenty of meat to sand off if we need it um, without the risk of breaking through. And again, it just seals everything down, gives us that nice sound surface to spray to. The GPG itself um, performed really well and has done on all the other jobs that I've done since with it. Um, if anyone's looking for, let's say, a good sort of you know, primer gun, um, then you've got the option for this 1.8 GPG. I don't think the PRI, which is their proper primer gun, is too much more than this. But if you wanted to save a few quid, um, you could get the GPG um, and use that for primer. As you can see, it's got no issues with firing out primer, really thick, um, really heavy, and putting down a really nice wet coat, especially when you've got such a big area to do like we've got on this bay window camper you know you want to be able to put a lot down without spending like an hour in the booth so this took me probably roughly about 10 minutes per coat to do um which for the size of obviously a full van isn't too bad at all obviously it's discounting the fact that the panels aren't on it but you know it's not a lot of time to spend in the booth really i'm spending probably like 20 minutes tops in the booth to put two full coats of high build over a bay window um so for me that's more than quick enough it sprays nice and smooth with a little bit more thinners obviously it sprays a little bit smoother for this we were going for build we weren't really too fussed about smoothness we just wanted a nice build there to make sure that all the last tweaking was sanded down now after i'd got all the prep work done so we guide coated it we then sanded it all down, we then went across with some panel sealer, got inside any of the panel edges that needed sealer putting in them, um, so like corking sealer, um, we'll get all the sealer work done and go across, get everything tickled up 110% and spend a lot of time just triple checking that everything's 100% finished before we then remask any areas and get everywhere cleaned up ready for the paint stage because especially with primer primer tends to make a horrendous mess in the spray booth as well and um, we tend to end up with a lot of overspray on the floor but as far as this video goes today we're almost there I um, hope you've enjoyed this one if you're not subscribed um, it's not often that I asked but if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button um, the last time I asked this we gained over 250 subscribers in a week so if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of any new uploads I do try and upload at least once a week 
I know that's been a little bit hit and miss recently, but I will be getting a lot more uploads done over the next few weeks and keeping it on that regu regular schedule of at least one per week. Also, um, a big thank you to any of the channel members that have joined. I um, appreciate all you guys that have joined. I hope you've all enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon for the next one. Bye for now. Can you hear the sound? Can't stop us now. We're not back in town, know what we're doing. Things are about to change this evolution. Once you shake the ground, you feel it moving. We have the revolution. Can you hear the sound? Ground beneath your feet with a whisper.